Harriet Tubman was a slave for Edward Brodus. She got tired of being a slave and decided she wanted to escape. She found a route that led her to Philadelphia. She escaped 13 times and brought back 70 of her fellow slaves to Philadelphia. Okay, let's slow down a little bit. Harriet Tubman was born into slavery at the age of five or six. She started working as a personal house servant. Seven years later, she got switched in place to work in the fields when she was young. She got beat heavily. She even got some long-term injuries because of her getting beaten. Tubman had gotten hit in the head with the weight and suffered from seizures and headaches. Tubman had once stepped between a slave that had left the field without permission, and she got beaten by the slave owner. She had been a hero once. She was a teen and continued to be the rest of her life. Tubman got married in 1844 to John Tubman, a free African-American man. Nobody really knows how the two met because it was really rare for a slave to marry a free citizen. Half of the American population was free on the shore of Maryland. Tubman inherited her name from her mother and adopted her husband's last name. Five years later, Tubman and her two brothers decided they wanted to escape the plantation and head to Pennsylvania in 1849. When the owner died and they thought they would be sold, her brothers didn't think that it was a good idea, so they backed out of the escape plan. Tubman successfully arrived in Philadelphia. Someone offered $100 to capture her, but she was a free woman. Tubman later said, I had crossed the line. I was free, but there was no one to welcome me to the new land. I was a stranger in a strange land. Free wasn't enough for Tubman. She had to free the others too. For the next 10 years, Tubman made more than a dozen trips to Maryland to try to escape her siblings and family. She soon found out that her niece was going to be auctioned off. Harriet wasn't gonna let that slide, you feel me? So she directed them through the Underground Railroad, which is, was an array of safe houses and routes and stuff to get them to escape. Tubman was very smart. She used the patterns of stars to find her way to Philadelphia. Tubman claimed to have not lost a single person. As a citizen, you gotta have a place to live, you feel me? So she bought her very first home to live in Auburn, New York. She lived at that same home the rest of her life. Tubman has already done so much good things, but her story isn't over yet. In 1860 to 1865, Harriet Tubman served as a spy, scout, nurse, and cook in the U.S. Army. She even helped the Army rescue over 700 enslaved people during the Comahe River Raid in South Carolina. Harriet Tubman was living by herself for four years before she got married again. Tubman got married to Nelson Davis, a Civil War veteran in 1869, and they adopted a child who they named Gertie. Tubman decided to protest in a women's rights movement to try and help the women of the country be able to get more rights. She was also there to support the women that have had to suffer. Unfortunately, the only thing that is guaranteed in life is death. On March 10, 1913, Tubman died due to pneumonia and was buried in Fort Hill Cemetery in Auburn.